guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the talking shed. Hey, of course, these Salford tillage tools are extremely popular, and we get a lot of questions on the model numbers that is right for certain customers and what the model numbers mean. So today in our lot, we have almost every model number here available, so we're going to talk about what each one does. Right here, we have got a Salford 1200. Personally, this is my favorite Salford vertical tillage tool. Um, this is a five inch spacing machine because the second number is a two and it has the inch and a quarter coils instead of the inch and five eighths. The one indicates an inch and a quarter coil. The two being a 2200 would be an inch and five eighths coil. So a larger coil. We'll get to that in a second. But this is a five inch spacing tool. So across the tool, there is a blade every five inches. The older style Salfords, the 570s and the RTSs, they used to be on seven and a half inch spacing. That would be like this uh, 2009 Salford right here. Uh, those blades are spaced further apart than what they are on this new 1200. The 1200 has got 30% more blades than the old style RTS, which is what makes it my favorite machine. In the past, we had a lot of uh, requests that the RTS was just a tick more aggressive of a vertical tillage tool to break down compaction underneath the tool and size residue to create better seed beds. And that's what Salford did with the 1200. So, um, like I said, five inch spacing versus seven and a half. And then in the back, of course, it is finished off with their standard three bar coil tine harrow uh, system and then a 14 inch shaftless rolling basket. Uh, the 1200s now come with the big truck tires. That's a big frame improvement over the 11Ls that you would see on the RTSs and uh, the lighter duty ones. This uh, tillage tool is great for breaking compaction, sizing residue in the fall and creating seed beds and airing out the soil in the spring. It's not designed to remove ruts. It's not designed to bury residue. There's other tools that Salford makes in their lineup to do so. So we started off with the Salford 1200. We're going to move on to the next aggressive tool. So here we are at the Salford 2100. So that being a 21, it's got the inch and 5 eighths coils, the 22 inch blades, which is larger than the 1200. But being that the second number is a one, it is a seven and a half inch spacing tool. So it's the heavy duty coils, larger blades, five bolt hub on seven and a half inch spacing. Heavy duty frame and undercarriage. Uh, this tool uh, works very similar to the 1200 in aggressiveness. The 1200 is probably slightly more aggressive because there's still more blades, even though these blades are larger diameter and we've got a larger coil. So this is a 2100, seven and a half inch spacing, inch and five eighths coils. The other ones on the 1200s are inch and a quarter coils. So that's the difference here. They also make a 2200, which is this configuration, but on five inch spacing. Or for another example, it's the Salford 1200 with large coils and large blades. So that's the 2000 series lineup. We're gonna move on to the 4000 series. This is the 4000 series here. This is where we're getting into uh, a tool that buries a lot of residue. The 4000 series, the 4200, I call the hybrid tool. That's because it can be ran very well in the fall and in the spring. In the fall, we use it to bury stalks and work in manure if, if we had manure there but it also leaves it extremely smooth. What's different about the 4000 series is that you've got these cupped blades on a compounded angle. That means that they're turned this way and this way, horizontally and vertically. And what that does, it allows them to ride through the field without creating a smear level. Those blades are on the front two gangs and then the back half of the machine has got standard vertical tillage, heavy duty inch and five eighths uh, coils on it. So front half is incorporators is what I call them. Back half vertical tillage. 
and this tool can do a lot. Uh, like I said, in the in the fall, it can effectively bury corn stalks. You can pull out ruts with this unit. And then in the spring, you can use it somewhat like a field cultivator where it'll tear out weeds, but it'll also do the vertical tillage and leave it smooth. Of course, it's finished with the standard three time harrow and a 14 inch shaftless rolling basket. And of course, like all the independent series, it's got the truck tires with the heavy duty undercarriage. So this tool right here, uh, we're, we're starting to get away uh, now that we're in the 4000 series, we're, we're getting away from the straight blades and we're getting into the heavy duty incorporators. Um, so they go 1100, 1200, 2100, 22, and now into the 4000 series. And as those numbers increase, we get more and more aggressive on the tools and the tillage. So the next tool is actually located at Farm Science Review right now. So we're gonna talk about it here. That would be the 5200 Enforcer. You've probably seen that one on Larson Farms YouTube channel. If you haven't, I suggest going over there now and watching that thing run on their farm in Minnesota. The 5200 Enforcer has got these compounded angle blades all the way through the machine. So if you can imagine, that is an absolute machine for bearing residue, pulling out ruts, and it will turn it black in one pass, no doubt. What's amazing of that about that tool is how level and smooth it leaves it, being how aggressive it is. Uh, that's a really long tool, so it handles residue very well. It tosses the dirt around, gets things mixed up very well, and then it, it is finished off with a three-tine harrow and rolling basket. So that would be the 5200, which would be the last tool in the independent series lineup going from 1100 to 52. 1100 being the lightest duty tillage, 52 being the most. So I hope this video clears up a lot of the questions about what the numbers mean, how aggressive the tool is based on the number, and potentially what tool would work the best on your operation based on what you're trying to accomplish. So that's what we're doing today, talking numbers on Southford Vertical Tillage Tools. If you have any questions, give Fennig Equipment a call, and thank you for tuning in.